The word teacher is wild berry Skittles. Only wild berry. It sounds awesome to me. <laughs> I know. Lucky, yeah. right? We are the Woody Show. I'm Woody. That's Greg Gorey. Hi, Wood. Menace. Good morning to you. Good morning, Woody. We got Seabass. We got Sammy. Good morning. Phones are open 877 Woody. That's 877 Woody. Hit us up with a text over to 22987. It's all about the week in audio. Oh, uh, yeah. Seabass has a lot of different things to share with us. Starting with what? We got a lot of Hollywood news. Greg Gorey, of course, mm-hmm. is a lover of all things Christina Applegate. I do love the gate. Do you not yeah. listen to, but do you listen to her podcast? I do not. Well, I've got a clip for you here okay. because Greg, what does he love also? Plastic surgery. Yeah, I only read the headline <laughs> so, that she uh, got one procedure. Right, right? so now mm-hmm. we will reveal. This Ooh, is from, I don't know what it is. This I'm is excited. One, exactly. Procedure. So this okay. is from her podcast called Messy, which she does uh, not with Lionel Messi, but with <laughs> <laughs> the girl from uh, Jamie Lynn Sigler from Sopranos, uh, right. who's uh, interviewed Perry Caravelle before. So Christina Applegate on her plastic surgery. At 27 years old, I was on a show and the one of the producers, very famous people who did a very famous show as well, said, hey, we're having trouble lighting under your eyes. Your bags under your eyes are so big. And now that's a hereditary thing. And he goes, I suggest you get them removed. <gasps> and you know what I did? You got them removed. At 27 years old. I had the the only plastic surgery I've ever had was to remove the bags under my eyes. Okay. Well, they I look mean, good. Yeah. I know yeah, people I, have done that. Especially I, if mm-hmm. that was done in the 90s. That's pretty. That's, yeah. I, I know a dude who got his chin done. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But somebody telling you to do that when you're very, when you're young and that's your face. Yeah. yeah it kind of worked out. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, she's yeah. had a great career. Yeah. 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 Someone telling you to like something that helps your career greatly? It just seems <laughs> painful AF. Yeah, yeah, it does. I was, I was reading something about uh, Nikki Glaser, and mm. she was talking about like how she has to get in this like crazy mindset to do these roasts, mm. and um, she has to cleanse, she says, when she writes for a roast because her mind goes to a bad place. And she said, I don't know why anybody signs up to be roasted, but she was roasted, and she got really affected by a joke that Sybil Shepherd made oh. about her at the Bruce Willis roast. And she says, quote, I saw Nikki before the show. I walked into the bathroom. I saw her from behind, and I go, oh, my God, look at this model. And then she turned around, and I go, oh, she's a comedian. Oh. <laughs> and Nikki Glaser yeah. says, that really stung because I have so many insecurities about my face and that it's not good enough, and that's why I'm a comedian is because I wish I could just be pretty. Oh, babe. Aww, uh, Nikki. After the roast, Nikki says she got into a ton of stuff being injected into her face and to laser stuff to, quote, fix what Sybil saw. Oh, well, no, and what did she get really from all that? Uh, she's the star of the Tom Brady roast. So again, yeah, it seems yeah, like it worked out. So good. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think she's a good looking chick. <laughs> Oh yeah, and, and Nikki you know, Glaser. I think yeah, she's, she's good looking. Good. Yeah, 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 I mean, forget the fact that she's like really skinny and she's got legs for days. I'm saying like right. she's pretty. She's like when you looking. see her, yeah, she's, she's got pretty. a pretty face. Great. Let's all okay. Here's what we should do as a show. Uh-huh. We should all get one plastic surgery oh. and then reveal it when like over over Christmas all right. break. All I get call penis right larger. Idea. Idea. <laughs> all right. Okay. I will. I menace. I know you probably want bags like uh, Christina Applegate. Yeah. Yeah. You would like that, right? Yeah. I would be all about it. But you say you have bags, but you don't. Me? Well, he's wearing, he wears glasses. I do. I wear glasses that ca- uh, cover them up. What if, Menace, know, but... what if both Menace and I both did bags? Oh, my God. Yeah. And see who improves I wanna, better. I want to do the thing where they suck out your neck fat. Okay. Oh, can I oh. get that, too? Yeah. <laughs> what would, what would you get, get Sammy? Yeah. Uh, I would... I mean, it's not even a fun game for me because I've never thought... I would never do plastic surgery. Really? No. Yeah, no. Not for even the like... sake of the argument. <sighs> If we all did it, and it was, it was like we're now, no one's going to be ashamed because we're all doing it openly. Yeah, we're so yeah. all fun. Not no, only I doing it, we're embracing it. But I don't have, you have that high of an opinion of yourself. Oh, I yeah, don't have any problems. Sorry, right, guys, I'm that perfect. <laughs> all right, guys, let's go around the room. Let's give her some suggestions yeah, yeah, yeah. of what she should fix. Well, now you have done Botox, though, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's that's almost. Yeah, I would do Botox. There. Yeah, that's of course. Not, that's not plastic surgery. No, yeah, it's not right. plastic surgery. Mm-hmm. No, there's nothing that I. I mean, to be honest, I don't pick myself apart in that way. Mm-hmm. I just don't mm-hmm. think well, about do for things you. that much. Yeah, or guys, just leave Instagram right. comments. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, check out the podcast. We've seen Applegate. Apparently it worked out pretty well. Oh, I want to do lipo okay. too. Let's do lipo. Oh yeah, me oh, too. You've talked about that. All right, awesome. uh, this week in audio. Also in Hollywood News Menace, you are our official Tyler Perry correspondent. Because <laughs> he's so great, you know? Well, Menace and Tyler Perry, both, yes. And uh, Menace has always said the Medea movies are great. Mm-hmm. The problem is, uh, the general public hates, not to hates, but uh, craps on them for quality-wise. I mean, he's made... Pl- 
plenty of money. People yeah. go see his stuff. Be fine. But his newest movie, which is out now, called Divorce in the Black, officially has a zero percent wow. from the critics. So yeah, he, no. so Tyler Perry went on Kiki Palmer's podcast, <laughs> uh, which mm-hmm. everyone has a podcast, and talked about them haters. I love that you never allowed that criticism to stop you from being able to have your authentic voice as an artist, because it does get really difficult. Yeah, but what? No, 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 no. You got to drown all of that out because if you let somebody talk you out of a place that God has put you in, you are going to find yourself in hell. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like words of wisdom. Is he yes. not right on that? Well, because I think, like I think Colin, can, he's super successful no matter what people say. Well, oh yeah, but he but he's I can't take behind, away his success. Right, but he yeah. can hide behind like he makes crappy movies. They are bad, legitimately bad. And now he's hiding behind God. Like God, <laughs> yeah. God zero made, point zero. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and then he says, uh, again, he gives after his, uh, he says his critics don't really respect how all his fans. Oh, uh, all right. Well, you do have that. Yeah. And then also, I mean, is he crying that he doesn't have an Oscar? Uh, oh, is that, is that true? No, no. Say. I'm just saying, is he doing that? Then like, what's the point? Well, the no, point- I mean, I, that's the, what I've always uh, respected about comedians and have been envious of is that they just have to go out there and super serve their fans and that's it. And they can have a crazy, successful, wealthy life. And they don't have to worry about sponsors or a uh, corporation that they work for or anything else like that. They just go out there and as long as they're super serving and giving their fans what they like, they'll sell the tickets. They'll sell at the arenas. Yeah. They'll, they'll do all that our, kind of our stuff. Our friend so, Bert Kreischer on his podcast talks about it all the time how people constantly say he's unfunny and stuff like that. But yet we're at arenas with him and they're sold right. out. Yeah. So, I mean, Tyler Perry on that, like, you know, who cares about the critics as long as the fans are uh, digging what he's doing? So you've got this highbrow Negro who is all up in the air with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He can say that. Is he allowed to say that? (laughs) Yes. Oh, okay. His nose up looking at everything. And then you got people like where I come from and me who are grinders, who really know what it's like, whose mothers and were caregivers for white kids and were maids and housekeepers and all of these beauticians that don't don't discount these people and say that their story don't matter. What he's doing there Mm -hmm. is he's saying that people don't tell stories about blue collar workers which is not true. Mm. I and mean, all the critics are saying, yeah, dude, yeah. we had that whole story about the the spicy Frito guy, whatever the. <laughs> oh, that was also a terrible. The flaming hot yeah. Cheeto guy. Maybe a bad uh-huh. but, but he's hiding behind that. He's a janitor, man. And he's not addressing the fact that his movies suck and he, they're terrible. Uh-huh. I've been on the set of his. Apparently, movies. you're not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, a lot of people aren't fans yeah. on a kind of zero percent. Anyway, yeah. speaking of entertainment news, uh, Menace, are you still excited about the Richard Simmons, Polly Shore? <laughs> Movie. I mean, is that happening? Here's what Polly Shore has to say about it, according to TMZ. Yeah, You've all been wanting me to do it. I know he wanted me to do it. I don't even know if Did that it? was him tweeting the whole time. To be quite I was going to ask you that. Actually, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who that was. Because he was posting on Facebook day, and stuff. Like, like, do I don't you think have that was a bad him? bone in my body? Hmm. I'm not hmm. quite sure he wanted you to do it. But no, there was this whole thing that Richard Simmons came out and said. That he changed that, his mind. Yeah, he changed his that mind. wasn't true. No, no, no. Mm. That that no. part wasn't true. He never said he wanted Polly Shore to play him. He never no. said he wanted his version of the story. No, no, because then there was that whole thing about maybe he's working on something on his own. Exactly right. to do his own version of it. And what that and he's now, involved and not the Polly Shore version. And the family has completely shut down what uh, Polly Shore just said. I think Polly Shore wants to do 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 something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here's a dumb question: When they say is it going to happen, I thought it was already made. No, he did like a or they like just a short. Ma- they like just did the trailer. Yeah, like yeah. a student film sort of thing. So that was like to like tease a... what could be. Right. right. I think he's yeah. still trying to get funding, like, right? See, I thought that it was, it was probably like a done. proof of concept type okay. thing. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Got uh, it. This Week in Audio. Menace, uh, as our tech expert, uh-huh. are, you a, are you aware of this new item, Friend? Friend. It's a little pendant. Yeah, we'll play a little bit of the trailer here. Wait, Friend. Oh, is that the AI pendant? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so you are familiar with this? All right, I, let's see what this is all about. Okay. Gosh, I'm out of breath. It's a lady who's hiking. We made it. Woo! <laughs> I don't know how to woo very good. Now you got it. Pause it there. So her friend, mm-hmm. the idea is you wear this pendant and it'll listen to you. Mm-hmm. And so, like, the, the friend, the pendant, then texts your phone and tells you, you know, something about what you just said. Like, oh, you're not a good wooer. Oh, what? So it's having a conversation with you? Right, it has conversation with you. But there's you. no audio oh, wow. component to it? It just texts you? It, it, it That's buzzes, weird. as you heard right there, and then it'll be like, zzz, zzz. man, that was pretty funny, dude. Oh, <laughs> my God. Right, that, that is so sad. sad. But right? Menace, now, hold That's on. Menace, that you, bought the, so last, dumb you bought the last and stupid and AI thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not... 
into this one that it's vibrating. I want to talk back and forth with it, which is a lot of people are saying now people are doing it because they're lonely and it's working that it's, we're basically living in the movie her. Now. Her, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't have that. they tried leaving the house, right? Or just not living without it. People I mean, don't want to do that. They don't. This is easier. So they'd rather just talk to this pendant thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if I'm wearing pendant or friend friend, yes. Mm-hmm. And then I, whatever had a great day at the pool it would go hey wasn't that a good day at the pool well, i think you would have to initiate right so you it's listening for it. you oh, yeah it's okay. listening for you to do or say something like this chick hiking and then it basically Texas echoes you. what you, yeah, yeah, yeah it's your yeah, little yeah. friend right. it's funny. <laughs> that's fair <sighs> all right let's go let me show you how to game, bro, okay? Guys, oh, with the come friends. on, come Other on. Oh, let's go. Are you serious? Come on, man. I hate this game. Take <laughs> notes, baby. <laughs> oh, wow. And a friend will say, like, oh, you suck, or you're great, or hey, let's get some pizza. Yeah, or, oh, oh man. man. So we don't want anyone to be able to just be alone with themselves. No. Well, ever. Not, not everybody can be the life of the party like you, Greg. You shouldn't <laughs> have all these friends. Okay. I could yeah, see- real life uh, relationships <laughs> with people. Yeah. yeah. Weirdo. Yeah. So strange. That is so You talk to people? Weird. That's so weird. I know. But there's millions of people who don't have a lot of friends. Who, oh, babe. Right. And they're lonely. Yeah, yeah. loneliness is like- yeah. I mean, what what did what did uh, Tom Hanks rise. do when he was alone on the island? He yeah, made up a, to the volleyball. Made yeah. up a volleyball. Wilson. Yeah. What happened uh, in Last Man on Earth, uh, Menace? Yeah, he, he talked to balls as well. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> eight seven seven forty four Woody. Text us over to two two nine eight seven. Any kind of uh, thoughts you got? We do have a couple of Tyler Perry fans on the text. I'm not you know. Hey, look, Adam Sandler makes terrible movies too. Yeah. People like him. How makes a ton of money. Dare you? Not all, not all, like but grown ups too is This a- one says, uh yeah, Divorce in the Black is his best film. Don't sleep on it. <laughs> all right. Check it out. <laughs> Might have to do a review. The Woody Show. And we're getting back into this week in audio. What do you got for us next here, C Bass? Another thing to see if you guys buy this. Obviously you're very vocal about the fa- uh, fake foreign accent syndrome, as <laughs> you would call yep. it. There's Don't a lady, Sarah Gann, and she claims that she has a different type of synesthesia, meaning different, you know, different senses blend together. She says that every time she sees or hears a, certain words, she actually has a specific taste happen in her mouth. Huh. Oh, interesting. Here Lucky. she is telling us about some of those. Okay. The word trouble tastes like a cherry airhead. Only cherry. The word mask tastes like candy corn. And I don't know, this is probably some sort of like Halloween thing in my brain, but even talking about face masks for COVID, I've always just tasted candy corn when I hear mask. The word office tastes like water. I don't know. The word teacher is wild berry Skittles. Only wild berry. And the word capable is applesauce. It sounds awesome to me. I know. Lucky, yeah. right? But wouldn't that be overwhelming? Yeah, menace menace with be, like words then. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't that be overwhelming? Like you couldn't, you'd be walking around like, yeah. You have a million flavors mm, in your mouth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, do you buy it? No. <laughs> Not for one second. Okay. S- sea bass so. of science? Uh, of science, yes. Uh, I, I think with all of this synesthesia, I've had, I've yet to see the good science on it. I've yet to right. see them actually showing, you know, through MRIs and brain scans, okay, this is the exact thing that's lighting up here. Yeah. Because your brain doesn't just have... It's not a bunch of wires. It's it's pretty well defined. Mm-hmm. And of course, there are anomalies naturally, but yeah, I don't buy it. Yeah. Uh, tell us about Heather Kovar. Okay. Now, this is uh, somebody who has been arrested. And okay. the name... Uh, there's no audio for her, but there is some old audio for her. She's a newscaster who was arrested for getting in a fight with her boyfriend. All right, this is uh, th- th- you had a couple clips here that just they're not playing. Go back to the go back to the, the today in audio folder. I got one in there, clip ten. Uh, what's That's where we at? Yeah. So okay. oh, could be. So what she did is she got to a fight with her boyfriend at a like a Tex Mex place in, uh, in in Texas where she now lives. Okay. Uh-huh. Drinking some margaritas and beat him up and she got arrested. Well, she's a weekend anchor. And she was a weekend anchor in Albany. Yeah. Yeah. And Greg, one day she got really drunk. Oh, oh this is the same chick. Yes! yes! I love her. So this is the same chick. <laughs> yeah. well, I think Woody well, sent me this art, art list, an article, That's, which uh-huh. didn't have any audio in it. So I had to go back and pull well, some because, old audio. Yeah, because the, oh um, the, the thing was, so <laughs> their weekend anchor, this Heather Kovar mm-hmm. chick, got arrested for the <laughs> incident that Seabass just told you about. And, that and they had recent. the report. Yeah, they had to report on their own anchor getting arrested. 
Right. So okay. the news station had to. So this is a, a kind of funny that was current. That that that, that part the, was current. The, the, this the just happened. But okay. how do we know Got Heather Kovar? Okay. Which I yeah. never, I didn't put that together. Uh, this is never the same chick from Albany. Oh yes. my god! Who Dude. did what in Albany? Well, oh, oh, you're about to find out. Oh, okay. Well, okay, so she she did the morning news <laughs> right. on the weekend. Then she went out to the street festival. Got, mm-hmm. I believe, absolutely bombed. <laughs> right. She was drinking <laughs> wine all day during the day. <laughs> Allegedly. In, in Albany. This is the right. Albany. Yes. Story. Yeah. And then, yes. Yeah. Because yeah, there's no there's no news. There's no new audio. It's just the print version. So she got bombed, came back for like the 530 or 6 o'clock news. Right. And told us all about the street festival. All right. So, well, hello. Good afternoon. Like I was telling you this morning, if you watched us this morning, starting at 6 a.m., 7 a.m., <laughs> I told you, you know what? Today, what a beautiful day outside. It is just amazing. And so, a great time for outdoor uh, music. <laughs> the Power Spark concert series kicking off this afternoon. And we got there early because they started at 2 p.m. And so, like I said, it is just so amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> it's lit. Yeah. And so she didn't just give us a report on the, She wanted to talk about, like, there was a, uh, some violence and somebody got murdered. Uh-huh. And she was talking Heat about wave. the weather. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. There's a ton of, it, yeah. It was so well, funny. she's a professional. Right. Yeah. So well, she got canned from Albany, moved to Texas. She should have gotten promoted. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She did that every night. I know. And apparently she's still on the sauce because she fought her boyfriend and got arrested there. Oh. After a couple margs. Yeah, right. So, yeah. Yeah. I will yeah. be, I, a couple I'm skinny so I'm, margs. I'm on the lookout. She, the last time I saw her on the air, because I did a search for her, she did like some report about the movie Twisters, actually. Oh, uh, Sammy, pretty recent. But she didn't get to talk to, uh, what's his rat face? Glenn Powell. She just talked to like some storm chaser. So this might be the end of her then, I career-wise. Got, oh, she still has a little more in her. I, well, I mean, I hope it's not. <laughs> well, to be fair, Matt, uh, Greg, uh-huh. like Albany, pretty small city. Dallas, pretty damn large yeah, city. Yeah, exactly. I know she's doing weekend you know, fill-in shifts. But still, I mean, that's a good gig. Yeah. But exactly. I hope this didn't ruin it for her. No. <laughs> It right. better not. We love her. Uh, today in her. audio. All right. Uh, speaking of ladies getting uh, nasty, this is something, a, a parking lot encounter, which I am no stranger to with parking lot encounters. It's a lady. Her name is Dime. And she cut off a person in, in line somewhere. Somehow we don't know exactly. She okay. you know, pulled around somebody probably waiting for a spot, something like that. Well, that other person got out and was mad with Dime. Problem is that other person tried to open Dime's door. And Dime did not like that. All right. You know what? You just open you my cut, bitch. Get the fuck away from me, me hoe. Well, get you the fuck what? away you from me. Cut me. Don't off. touch my motherfucking car. Go to your motherfucking car. I'm not playing with you, hoe. Don't touch my motherfucking vehicle. Yeah, Don't that's your problem. You're on your fucking phone. I don't give a fuck. Bye. Learn how to touch try. my motherfucking car again. You're gonna get your ass whooped. <laughs> Wow. Oh my God. I know. That's, <laughs> that's nerve, by the way. You walk up to somebody else's. It's one thing you walk up and you yell something. Or but put you, a magnet right. on their car. Yeah. yeah, but like you walk up and you open their door. That's d- crazy. Like you're move. asking to get shot. Yeah. Yeah, or, the, or as you just heard, get her uh, mother, get her, mother effing. Get, get right. your hoe ass beat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, that, Man, Dime part, was not messing around. And let me so let me give you a little, because I've, I've I see this all the time, a little pro tip here. Wait until Dime parks. And then do whatever the hell you want uh, to her car. Yeah, oh. get it. Yeah. Okay. Vandalize. Do it. But just, sure. But yeah, like what he yeah, said. Then vandalize. Yeah, it. don't go and open. Well, here's, <laughs> here's what I would say because they have cameras out there. Go park like down the street. Uh huh. Get a hat or something. Walk back to the parking in lot. In a wig. Right. It, then keep, carry wigs in your yeah. trunk. Totally. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> pro right, tip. One of those clown yeah. noses. Right. Make sure it's not a Tesla. I did see some kind of road rage video recently where this guy, he thinks he's all bad. He gets out of his car. He's got a pistol. Mm-hmm. He walks up to the other guy's window, and he's like kind of brandishing it. He's not, like, he hadn't shot it yet. Real smart. But as soon as the guy saw that he had a gun, this guy unloaded on him with his gun, and that's it. Killed him. Yeah. Yeah, when you just too bad. Dumb. That's what's up. Like you walk up to this person's car with a gun, whether you use it or not. You don't know yeah. what you're gonna do. Like yeah. you're asking to die. Uh, your intention, you have your gun. Yeah. The driver had the thought that he was intending yep. to use it. Yeah. Uh, this week in audio, a Seabass uh, original game. How do they owie? That's Ooh. where I play you an audio clip, but I don't tell you anything else. And you, the audience, guess how this person hurt themselves. Okay. 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 I love the commentary. Ooh. Here, one more time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What were you doing? Uh, hmm. uh, what that's, were you doing? I have a very saying, specific oh. guess. Yes, Greg. Um, as the garage door is closing, she walked into it. Oh, oh so you heard okay. a garage door? Uh, maybe. I'm thinking I, like because think... it sounds like she maybe like uh, fell into some like toys, like kids' toys, like maybe stepped on a Lego. 
that okay. buckled her her legs. I'm thinking she's like trying to hang something on the ceiling yeah. and then falls. Oh yeah, that could be good too. It, it kind of seemed like she like walked into a wall and something right. like a shelf fell on her. Oh yeah. Hmm. But then the what are you doing implies that she's doing something that normal people wouldn't right. do. Yeah. Oh wait, is okay. this that video where there's a whole bunch of Legos on a shelf and then the kid like touches it and they all fall? It's not that video, Menace, but Greg Gore, you know your garage door opener sound. Is that oh, it? Oh, Greg. So, Greg. She had parked in the driveway because guess what? Her garage is full of garbage. <laughs> and it was a little bit rainy outside, and she didn't want to get her hair wet. And okay. so as the garage door is opening, she didn't let it open all the way. And she walked into running, it? Running, covering her head, because if her hair gets wet, I guess she'll die. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, cracks her face right into the garage door. Oh, my God. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> oh, no. If only oh, no. there was a way to clean out your garage yeah. and actually park in it. Oh, yeah. no. I don't think yeah. it's possible, Greg. Did we uh, use all your clips, Seabass, or do you have anything else for us? Or? I got one for Menace. Another Ooh. one, in fact. Oh, another okay. one. How are your dogs doing, little, Menace? Little bonus today. Uh, my in dogs, audio. they're great. They're dumb as hell. <laughs> <laughs> and they're basically cats. They sleep all day. Two French bulldogs. Well, yeah. this is an English bulldog. The, the bigger, uh, fatter, slobbier version. Oh, I would love to have one, but the slobber is just too much for me. I lived with a couple of these things, and they are slobber machines. Well, yeah. this one has a special talent besides that. It can sing along. Oh, really? Yeah. To songs. Okay. Mm. Do enjoy. All right. <laughs> this is an English bulldog? In England, by the way, so it's official. Oh, it's oh fancy. Fancy. Wow. A lady yeah. named Megan. All right, here we go. <laughs> Heard better now, there are certain dog people, singers. namely mm -hmm. veterinarians, who say these dogs shouldn't even be on the earth. Yeah, haters. But they aren't listening to that. No. And they are just haters. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, this week in audio, I think we did talk about uh, the story about the guy who is, uh, it was in Venezuela, they had their election, right? Maduro. Nicolas right. Maduro. Yeah. We oh, were yeah. talking about that. And like, mm -hmm. um, you know, by all, by of, all accounts, there was some... A lot of drama. Yeah, there was some election nonsense going what? on. Yeah. Elon, in, a, in a communist dictatorship? No. Yeah. Elon no, Musk insane. called it what? out. And I, so, I thought that one guy got like 100% of the vote. Now they're Maduro. over 100%. <laughs> yeah. And now, and now Elon Musk had uh, said something about it. And now this Maduro guy, he's got a beef with Elon, says he's his number one arch enemy. And not only that, he'll beat him up. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Here he is. Menace, you can translate for us. Uh, okay. ¿Quieres pelea? Vamos a darle el lomo. Estoy listo. Soy hijo de Bolívar y de Chávez. No te tengo miedo, el lomo. Yeah. I love the way he says, it's like Scarface. El lomo. Yeah, I think he called Elon a fat piece of crap and meet me wherever. Cash, cash me outside, el lomo. Get it. But like, I don't know. Greg and I say this all the time. Like, dude, Elon, you're the richest person in the world. Why are you getting involved with like beefing with these randos constantly. Like why create more and more enemies? Like when you go outside, you don't know. Yeah, who knows? Like, yeah. The danger. It is, yeah. it is a weird world. I mean, it's between so strange. stuff like this and then you got, um, you know, Hulk Hogan at the Republican convention and then you <laughs> yeah. had, what's her name, twerking for the Meg uh, Kamala Harris thing. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, at their yeah. thing, it's like, this is a lot of these things are just supposed to be like, like legitimately. What we do is not important. What like uh, this was going on, you know, with uh, yeah, this is it's, like, it's supposed to be a little bit more like classy, respectable. Yeah. yeah, it's like now we're it's so we're threatening strange. to physically fight each other. Yeah, uh, you know, we're twerking, we're ripping our shirts off. Wrestlers, like, mm. <laughs> let's not forget Amber Rose was also at the Republican <laughs> convention with a yeah. new yeah. face tattoo. Yeah. Anyway.